Hey everyone, so today I am going to show you how to create this holiday look because I had some people ask me how I do my eye makeup and I thought it would be easier to just create a whole YouTube video around that. I used the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air and this is really inexpensive from any drugstore or um, like Target or anything. And then I also used this 3CE uh, palette from my friend Irene because she went to Korea so she got this for me so I kind of did a little mashup of these two for this look today and I am happy with how it came out and I'm excited to be getting back to normal sit down videos that I was doing over summer life has just been really crazy so I took a little break from YouTube but now I'm back and I have some fun vlogs and some fun other videos coming up so stay tuned for those and let's get into the tutorial I'm gonna start with choosing a song. I chose Harry Styles to listen to. Then I'm going to go in with my Primed and Poreless Too Faced Concealer. I really like it because it's lightweight and it just leaves you feeling very fresh and clean, like you have a smooth canvas to start your makeup on. Next, I'm going to go in with my Super Stay by Maybelline. I am the shade 112. I really like this because it really does stay all day through you know anything that you're gonna do it really just like clings to your face so i've been loving this then i'm going to buff it all out with a damp beauty blender my concealer i've been Loving recently is the CoverGirl True Blend Under Cover. I am the shade Classic Ivory, so we're just gonna paint that on and look like a football player for two seconds. Then go in with the same damp beauty blender and blend that out, making sure that it covers all of the darkness or any, you know, redness that you may have. I don't really use colorful concealer like the green or anything, but I've been liking this. Now it is time for brows, so I'm going to use a spoolie and brush them out. Then go in with my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow gel, which I've been using forever, and to be honest, I really like it. It's very easy to go on, and I'm just using an e.l.f. brush with that, and I think it turns out pretty good every time. Concealing under your brows is important so they look clean. So here I'm just going in with a flat top Real Techniques brush. Um, going under my brows is something that I do if I have time. So, you know, maybe not every day, but for a holiday look for fun, this is what I do because it makes sure that that area is just really clean. So that way when you get all that color in there, you can see all of it. Next, I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. I've been using this stuff forever as well, and I feel like it gets the job done. I don't think that you have to spend a ton of money on every single aspect of makeup to make it look good. You just have to, you know, apply it right, and even something that's $3 can still look good. Then I'm going to go in with this neutral eyeshadow base because I always set my primer and concealer under my brows and all over my lids with a neutral shadow so that way when I go to do the rest of my shadow it has a smooth base to adhere to. Now I'm going to set my face with this Hydra Perfect L'Oreal Paris powder and I'm just going to put that all over. I didn't bake or anything for this look because to be honest sometimes I just get really lazy and for those asking how I do makeup this is literally what I do. Just put it on and, you know, I touch up throughout the day and I use oil blotting sheets, but generally my makeup stays throughout, you know, theme parks or just busy days and this is what I do. Next, I'm going to set my brows with the Great Lash Clear Gel and to be honest, you can really use any clear gel, but I just, I use this one. 
Now I'm gonna start my eyeshadow with the Rosé in the Air palette using the far right brown shade. I'm gonna put that all in my crease with a fluffy brush. Then go in with the ivory shade and clean up under my brow again. And using the 3CE palette, I'm going to use the bottom uh, middle maroon reddish shade for the corner of my eye and blend that in just a little tiny bit. Then I'm going to cut my crease further with concealer, blink once and see where it lands, and then put concealer on my lid up to the little blink mark. Then you want to spray your brush once you have the glitter shadow on it and put that all over your lid. And then clean up the outside again. And now cut the crease further and go in with a light brown shade at the bottom. And we're going to use Milani glitter. You can use any shade. I like this kind of gold pink shade. I'm going to take a flat brush and apply it to my lid over the glitter shadow that we just put on because it makes it pop just a little bit more. For my inner corner, I'm going to use ColourPop Highlight and just to make everything sparkle a little bit more for the holiday season. And then go in and clean up again because you don't want any rogue powder. And I like the Chocolate Soleil bronzer by Too Faced just to warm up my face a little bit because I am quite pale. So I like making sure I don't look, you know, dead. Then I'm gonna use just a light pink blush. This was Milani Baked Blush, but really anything will do. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette with the shade Glow Getter, putting that on my cheekbones. Now I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Spray. I'm just gonna do three or four little spritzes all over my face. And I do that before I do my eyeliner. These are the ones that I've been loving because I don't want, you know, the, the water to like hit my face, then eyeliner go everywhere, whatever. That's just the way I do things. But I'm starting with waterproof eyeliner for the inner corners of my eyes because sometimes my eyes water if I'm wearing contacts and I don't want that to go everywhere. So I use the waterproof um, eyeliner for this part. Then I'm going to do my little baby wing with the skinny skinnier eyeliner. And for mascara, I use the Telescopic by L'Oreal and Mega Length by Wet n Wild. For the bottom lashes, I use waterproof. Again, like I said, I wear contacts sometimes and I don't want my mascara running all over the place. So here I am just applying that. Now I'm going to use Duo Lash Glue and apply some falsies. I just keep them in this cute little case from Daiso and putting glue all over those so that way they stick, but not too much because that can create a gloppy mess on your eye, which no one wants. The way I apply my lashes is I just use my fingernails and set them right on where my eyeliner goes because I don't like using an eyelash curler or doing anything with them. I don't really blend them into my natural lashes because I don't need to usually. They just sit kind of right on top of them. Um, I've never had any issues or anything with this method, so I just do this. You can use tweezers if you want because I know that's easier for some people, but my nails are usually long enough that I can just kind of place them and then if the glue is tacky enough you can just kind of like press it into your eye and they will stick there that's just what i've always done mm -hmm. 
This has been my favorite lip combo for a little while for the holiday season because these two reds together create a cooler tone lip shade and it makes your teeth look extra white. And I really like this look just because I think gold and red look nice for the holidays. And if you eat carefully, their matte lipstick stays on pretty well. So if you are looking to go to dinner or, you know, go eat something while you're wearing lipstick, I really like this formula because it's the worst when you're going to like eat something and then you have lipstick either everywhere or it's like half on, half off. So just if you're careful with this, it will stay on. Thanks for watching the tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful or you just found it relaxing to watch, whatever the reason may be that you clicked on it. So this is what I will be rocking for most of the holiday season because it's easy and I can do it pretty quickly when it's not on camera and I'm trying to stay like in frame and stuff. So you can kind of mess around with this look and choose colors that fit your skin tone or whatever but this is what I like to do with my makeup kind of on a daily basis. Sometimes it's a little bit, you know, not as detailed as other days, but it's makeup so you can have fun with it. Like and comment on this video and subscribe to me if you have not and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.